My name is Dr. Holly Campbell. I'm a radiation oncologist for Horizon Health Network, working at the St. John Regional Hospital. So my specialties are treating genitourinary cancers, which are mainly prostate and bladder, but also I treat gynecologic cancers, a lower GI, skin, and palliative lung cancers. So prostate cancer is the most common cancer after skin cancers diagnosed in males. It occurs at approximately a rate of one in nine men during their lifetime. According to the Canadian Cancer Society, approximately 21,000 men are diagnosed with prostate cancer every year in Canada. So SBRT is a new program which we have developed here in St. John and we're very excited to be able to offer this to our patients here. Our program is the first one in Atlantic Canada. It is currently being offered in a number of larger centres across Canada. So SBRT is delivering very precise ablative doses of radiation therapy to the prostate. So there is some prep involved for a patient to receive SBRT. So in order to be able to very accurately target the prostate, we put three gold markers into the prostate. There are three gold seeds and we use these as fiducial markers to help us to uh, be very precise in targeting the prostate. And at the same time, we also put a gel called Space or Hydrogel. And this is a gel which we insert between the posterior prostate and the anterior rectal wall. And the purpose of this gel is to move the rectum away from the prostate so that when we give the high dose radiation to the prostate, we're minimizing the amount of radiation that's delivered to the rectum to reduce the acute and long-term side effects to the rectum. And that's also an, a new option that we have for patients. So for SBRT, a patient needs to have a localized prostate cancer. And also we would like them to be well enough that they would benefit from treatment of their prostate cancers. So the benefit of SBRT as well as delivering very high doses of radiation to the prostate to ablate the prostate cancer is the treatment is given over five treatments. So instead of having to come multiple times to the oncology clinic for several treatments, uh, the number of visits to the oncology clinic is reduced and that also helps with our healthcare dollars as well. When I first started out treating prostate cancer uh, about 20 years ago, just over 20 years ago, we used to give a 39 radiation treatments to the prostate for localized prostate cancer. Uh, we reduced to 20 treatments of a number of years ago using a hypofractionated technique, which we still offer that t technique for some patients, but now we're able to offer this five uh, radiation treatment regimen. So for patients, it's uh, less travel. We offer radiation therapy to in this department at the St. John Regional Hospital to patients who live sometimes as far as Perth Andover or beyond. So if we can give them five treatments over two weeks that instead of staying in St. John for four weeks or more, uh, they have to travel less. Also, um, you know, the side effects are quite manageable. The whole process from beginning to end was very, very easy. Yeah? To be honest, I mean, if you didn't know you had cancer, it was quite enjoyable. The staff and the people, they were high energy and they were happy and going on. So it made you feel good because of the way she explained it. It was my best options, so I was okay. So if you are a man and uh, you are worried about prostate cancer, I think it is a good idea to discuss with your family doctor the pros and cons of having screening for prostate cancer. Uh, for men who are diagnosed with prostate cancer, uh, as radiation oncologists, we strongly recommend that you have a, an opinion from both a urologist and a radiation oncologist before uh, deciding on your treatment option. What treatment you decide is up to you, but it's good to uh, meet with both specialties so that you have all the information on your surgical options as well as the radiation therapy options and brachytherapy. Thank you very much.